this is a haul from a couple months ago that I've been dying to dig into. Um, well, should I say a couple months ago because it just now showed up, but it took a couple months to show up. So, you have seen me review the T brand stash before on this channel, and you know that I pretty much unequivocally love them across the board, no matter what the flavor. And I've looked at their website longingly, all of the beautiful, wonderful flavors they have there, wishing our stores carried so many of these, but we have about maybe seven that ours does, and I feel lucky even for that, because I remember when it was like two. <sighs> They're getting better, but still a long way for improvement. But regardless, I've looked longingly at this site so many times and thought, they're cheap. They're, they're cheap. Their teas are so cheap. Why don't I just buy them? But for whatever reason, didn't. And then they had a Black Friday sale. So I figured I'll just buy the seasonal ones. Plus, I mean, they're like 65% off. Oh my god. And then I saw the shipping rate and was like, huh. Well. How much is it to get free shipping? <laughs> and apparently, I, I believe on that site, it's like 50 bucks. So I was like, well, I'm pretty sure, no problem. I could hit 50 bucks. But then remembering the 65% off sale, I was like, this is going to be so damn much tea, oh my god. But at the same time, I'm super stoked for it, but at the same time I know you're all gonna be like, Jen, what the fuck are you doing? No, really. Individually, they were all very cheap, but I was trying to hit the free shipping, so I definitely bought more than I was intending on buying. I was originally only intending on buying about six, which some of you were already going, Jesus Christ, six? And I'm like, <laughs> you think, <laughs> yeah, I right, should we get into this. But... Regardless, for that free shipping, I don't know if it was because it was the free shipping that it took about two months to arrive. It just finally arrived around my birthday. My birthday is January 7th. I bought these on Black Friday. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is they are here. I kept an eye on the tracking and it said it was moving just at a friggin' snail's pace. I don't know if that's normal for them because it's the only time I have ever bought off of their website, but... I'm really happy they're all here and safe and sound and just, oh, I cannot wait to try these. So without further ado, let's get into them. So the first, I'm just in no particular order, just in order of how my hands hit them. I know my hair is all janky because I went outside in the rain to get the mail and then it started dry and it looks funky. But anyway, first one is caffeine free cinnamon vanilla, which I'm like, so basically chai. But I love chai, so that's, that sounds really good to me. A soothing chamomile blend with spicy cinnamon and sweet vanilla. So it's chamomile, it's not even chai, just the spices that go into chai. But again, that sounds really freaking good to me, so I may have some of that later. Then we have... This is the one that first brought my eyes to the Stash Tea website years ago. Decaf Pumpkin Spice. I don't know why they have to specify decaf in the name. They don't sell a caffeinated version of pumpkin spice. I don't know if they used to, but it's black tea and it's decaf pumpkin spice. And I'm hoping it's better than the Twinings one because the Twinings one is kind of funky. So it's a unique seasonal treat brimming with aromatic pumpkin spice flavors. Yum. And as a knitter, I, I just, I adore the detailing on this scarf here. Just saying. It's simple, but I love it. Oh, they have little things on the sides. I should be reading them. Oh my god, let's go back to this one. This is gonna be like a two-hour video. Who gives a shit? Anyway, so for the uh, cinnamon vanilla one. Take a moment to yourself with a cozy cup of this soothing blend, humming with the spicy warmth of cinnamon, vanilla, and calming chamomile. This tea is the perfect choice for a sweet relaxation. The ingredients are cinnamon, rooibos, chamomile, sarsaparilla, natural vanilla flavor. So that's that one. And this one, watch the leaves fall with this comforting blend of cinnamon and spices. The seasonal take on classic chai is made with premium black tea that perfectly carries the swirling pumpkin spice aroma in the crisp autumn air. The ingredients in this one are decaffeinated black teas, cinnamon, ginger root, natural pumpkin spice, flavor, clove, and allspice. 
so stupidly excited for this. You don't even know I have waited for years, years to get my hands on that one. I've been waiting literally about six years to get my hands on that. So, this is long overdue. And yeah, there's so much like crumpled up paper in here to pad it. I'm like, where's the next box? Okay, so this one is Licorice Spice, which just sounded very different. And I'm like, could be good, could be gross. I don't really know, but I am willing to try it. I like licorice just fine, so that's fine by me. A warming fusion of sweet licorice root and aromatic spices. We've got like this cute little black elephant with some licorice and like star anise and I think a vanilla. A vanilla. <laughs> Good going, Jen, really. And some orange peel. Wait a minute. Do they all have that? They do not. Okay, it's just this one. It has an explored our world of tea thing, but I think it's just like their mission statement, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. Um, so licorice spice herbal tea. This unique nectar-like tea will have you hooked. You'll love the aroma and complexity of this blend's delicious lingering flavor. The naturally sweet taste of licorice root and aromatic spices make this tea wonderfully hot. Or wonderful hot or iced. The ingredients are licorice root, cinnamon, orange peel, star anise, vanilla extract, sarsaparilla, orange oil, natural cinnamon flavor, clove butt oil, and cardamom oil. And then there is a note about the licorice root that says... This ingredient is not intended for use during pregnancy and while nursing, or if you have heart disease or high blood pressure. Well, I don't have high blood pressure, so I'll probably be fine. Okay, let's see here. Paper. My, um, ridiculously long receipt that is stapled together. There's so many pages. Let's see here. It doesn't have my address on it, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I'm like, we got stuff here. Multiple pages. I just two pages. Never mind. I thought this was three. Anyway. But in with that, they threw in a few freebies. We have a Chamomile Nights, Christmas Morning, and White Christmas in samples. I feel like there was more. I don't know where they went, but I got three right here. <laughs> I could have sworn there was five, but maybe I dropped them. Maybe they're somewhere else in the box. I don't really know. Unless they were stuck to the paper in the top. I'm not seeing them down the side of the box, so curiouser and curiouser. Anyway, next one. We have got Fusion Green and White. It's a green tea. Um, here's the cover. And an exceptional blend of pure green and white teas. A harmonious blend of exceptional Japanese-style green tea with delicate white tea to lift your spirits and calm your soul. Steeping to a beautiful golden color, enjoy a smooth cup of this comforting tea any time of day. Ingredients are blended green teas, blended white teas. That tells us so much! <laughs> I'm still excited. This one I'm really, really excited. And actually, one of my subscribers just mentioned this in the comments on one of my videos. And it's Breakfast in Paris. Told you I got it. Uh... You'll say ooh la la to this unique blend of rich black teas, fragrant lavender, and citrusy bergamot. I love the box. Freaking love it. What can we say? This tea just has that certain je ne sais quoi. Sipping this perfect blend... I'm sorry. Sipping this perfect blend of rich black teas, aromatic lavender, and bright bergamot will have you daydreaming of sitting outside a sunny Parisian cafe. Ingredients, blended black teas, lavender, bergamot oil, vanilla extract. Oh, that sounds so good! Okay, we have also got... Chai green! Smooth green tea infused with bold chai spices. It's a green tea. 
Spice up your green tea with this fresh take on traditional chai made from premium green tea layered with fragrant chai spices. The sensational aroma of this blend will awaken your senses and warm your mood. The ingredients are green tea, cinnamon, ginger root, allspice, natural cinnamon flavor, clove, clove bud oil, and cardamom oil. Then we've got reaching real hard here. Orange spice, which I mean, it doesn't matter what brand you get it from, orange spice is always good in my book. So, an aromatic blend of black tea, sweet citrus orange peel, and fragrant spices. We've blended black teas, fragrant citrus orange peel, sweet cinnamon, and a touch of clove to craft this incredibly aromatic cup of tea. This spi classic spicy sweet flavor combination is pure comfort in a cup. Ingredients. Blended black teas, orange peel, cinnamon, orange oil, clove butter oil. So that is exciting. My sister just got home. I was like trying to tell what that sound was. I was like, either it's an airplane or it's her car, and I'm not sure which, which is really sad. So this one is cranberry pomegranate, and I know this one could be iffy. This could go either way quite easily. It's caffeine free. A bright blend of juicy pomegranate and tart cranberry flavors. On one side it's in French, one side it's in English, so. Inspired by the rich colors of autumn, this cheerful blend is lively in both taste and hue. Perfectly balanced with bright tartness and a fruity finish, cranberry pomegranate is even more delightful with a touch of sugar or honey. Ingredients, hibiscus, of course, for the color, rooibos, natural cranberry flavor, natural pomegranate flavor. Well, that, uh, that hibiscus will definitely cut the sweet from the pomegranate, so it could be good. Could be good. I'm eeny, meeny, miny, moeny. Which one next? all good. I wouldn't have bought them if they weren't good. Yeah! Cinnamon apple chamomile! So this one is a warm spicy blend of chamomile, cinnamon, and crisp apple flavor. I love the freaking picture. I don't know why, but I love it. It's delicious as mom's apple pie, but without the guilt. Spicy cinnamon and tart apple perfectly complement each other in this tempting blend. Soothing chamomile and a lingering spicy aroma make this perfect or make this the perfect tea to snuggle up with on chilly nights. The ingredients are cinnamon, hibiscus, chamomile, and natural apple flavor. It's simple, it's basic, I'm sure it's good. Now this next one, I am not 100% sure how I feel about it in a tea because my last couple forays into trying any kind of a chocolate tea have not ended so well for me. So I'm really hopeful this will break that streak because one of them I feel like had potential, but it was, I don't know if I got a bad box or it was just too old or what the deal was, but it was just gross. But um, we have decaf chocolate hazelnut. A comforting blend of decaffeinated black teas with chocolate, vanilla, and hazelnut flavors. Let's see here. I'm all of a sudden like, where's the best buy date on these? Making sure I'm not shooting myself. Oh, they're good till 2022. Okay, I got plenty of time. Um, so I was like, wait. <laughs> I swear if these are ones like ready to expire, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> okay. We adore this deliciously smooth blend of naturally decaffeinated black teas with subtle chocolatey notes and hints of vanilla and hazelnut. Cozy up with a mug of this blissful treat for a moment of sweet escape. The ingredients are decaffeinated black teas, natural chocolate flavor, natural hazelnut flavor, and vanilla extract. Could be good. Could be gross. Hard to say which way it's gonna go. Like, as a coffee, that would be delicious. As a tea could go either way. <laughs> so then I got White Christmas. Like I said, I originally went there just to get the seasonal ones, and then I was like, oh fuck it, I'm getting the free shipping. Uh, so White Christmas is a jolly blend of delicate white tea, Pacific Northwest peppermint, and warming ginger. And again, the crafter in me is like, look how freaking cute, oh my god, I want a pattern for that mug holder. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. I want the little mug sweater. Okay, so this is a white tea. 
As you dream of sleigh rides and cozying up by the fire this holiday season, tantalize your senses with a cup of delicate white tea paired with refreshing Pacific Northwest peppermint and ginger root. The ingredients are simple. They are white tea, peppermint, and ginger root. That's it. Pretty good. This one... I'm really intrigued by... It contains caffeine! It literally says, CONTAINS CAFFEINE! Which I guess it has to say that because it's an herbal tea and generally herbal teas are not caffeinated. So, it is ginger fire chai! I'm like, ooh! Okay, so this is gonna be like hella spicy, right? And hold on, I have to answer this real quick. Hold on. Ooh, okay, let's try this one again for the ginger fire chai. I keep wanting to say fire spice, but it's spicy yerba mate, or is it yerba mate? I'm not sure how you say it. With a fiery ginger kick that builds with each sip. We've turned up the heat a notch in this fiery chai blend with ginger that builds with each sip, as well as yerba mate or mate, uh, cinnamon, and natural vanilla. This tea is sure to warm you up from the inside out. The ingredients are ginger root, yerba mate, or mate. Someone please tell me how to say it. Cinnamon, natural vanilla flavor, and natural ginger flavor. Super excited about this. Okay. And this goes hand in hand with that one. And this one's just Chai Spice. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever had the Stash brand Chai Spice. So, I feel like I had, maybe, maybe I found this at Safeway. Maybe I didn't. I'm not 100% positive. But if I did, then, you know, it's a good one. And I'm not complaining. Because it'll definitely get drank. All of these are definitely getting drank, so... Plus, my sister usually bums all the chai spice ones off of me before I can drink Rooney with a little shit. So this one I'm hiding. This is mine. She doesn't get to know about this one. So, a warming blend of rich black teas and bold spices. Let the swirling aroma of our chai spice sweep you away to the bustling bazaars of Old Delhi, where chai is a symbol of home and comfort. Every sip of this tempting tea will wrap you up in warmth and spice. The ingredients are blended black teas, cinnamon, ginger root, and you just sneeze really bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Allspice, natural cinnamon flavor, clove bud oil, and cardamom oil. So pretty standard for chai, but I'm still excited. Ugh, this one's a different one. I, I think I can safely say I've never had a tea in this flavor. It's mojito mint. I've had mint mojitos before, and this is like that without the rum. <laughs> so this is a green tea and matcha tea. Uh, a refreshing blend of green tea, Pacific Northwest peppermint, lime, and Japanese matcha. Kick back and relax with the fresh, cool flavors of Pacific Northwest grown peppermint, green tea, a dash of matcha, and natural lime flavor. It's a happy hour treat any time of day, especially lovely served, uh, served iced with a cocktail umbrella. And the ingredients are green tea, peppermint, natural lime flavor, and matcha. Again, sometimes the simple ones are the best, so there's nothing in there to muddy it up. We got peach. You knew I had to buy peach. There's even another peach. So this one's a black tea, and it's a blend of black teas and the essence of juicy sun-ripened peaches. Again, really, really excited. Our curated blend of black teas and the flavor of sun-ripened peaches will have you dreaming of a relaxing stroll through the lush fruit orchards. I guess there was no the in that sentence I added it in. Uh, this tea will bring you the delight of summer all year round. Its ingredients are just blended black teas and natural peach flavor. So, okay. Cool by me. And then its similar sibling... In oolong tea, we've got a white peach. I'm like, ooh, we're getting fancy now. So this one's wooyai oolong tea in fresh, juicy white peach flavor. It's W-U-Y-I. Please tell me if I'm saying that right or wrong. And if I'm saying it wrong, spell out the phonetic pronunciation so I can get it right next time. Because look at how many years I said, um bergamot wrong as bergamot, thinking I was completely correct, and the first few times you pointed it out, I thought y'all were crazy till I actually looked it up and found the pronunciation key online and was like, oh, I've been in the wrong my whole life. 
So I know what these, at this point, now I'm open to you guys correcting me without getting butthurt about it. Now I want you guys to correct me if I'm saying shit wrong so I can fix it. <laughs> Okay, oolong from the wild and steep cliffs of China's Wuyai Mountains, paired with the fresh, sweet flavors of white peach. Enjoy this refreshing, naturally sweet tea as a gentle pick-me-up any time of day. And the ingredients are Wuyai oolong tea, orange peel, lemongrass, natural white peach flavor, and natural peach flavor. So this one's got more going on in it than just the peach, but I'm kind of intrigued. Kind of intrigued. So over here... Uh, reaching to the far corner of that box. And then there's a whole nother row underneath. Uh, we've got Super Irish Breakfast Tea. Because Irish Breakfast Tea wasn't enough, we got Super Irish Breakfast Tea. And it's got a little shamrock on it. It's really cute. Look at it. Look at it. It's yuck out. So, this is a hearty blend of bold black teas, just as the Irish like it. This mighty tea will power you to take on your day. Delicious plain or with a touch of milk and sweetener, you'll be ready to go with every strong cup of this exceptional blend of rich premium black teas. Ingredients, blended black teas. That's it. Okay. I'd like to know what the uh, caffeine profile on that is, but I bet it's, re it's really got a kick. Okay. And over here we've got super mint, because just mint wasn't... Super enough, we've got super mint now. And this one's a caffeine-free herbal tea. An extra minty infusion of Pacific Northwest grown wild mint. It's pretty plant. I think we grow some outside, actually. Um, grown in our own Pacific Northwest bla backyard. <laughs> backyard. <laughs> backyard. Wild mint, also known as mentha arvensis. Yeah, we grow that. Uh, has a high menthol content, which makes our super mint a uniquely cooling and delicious take on mint tea. Ingredients, wild mint. Doesn't even have tea, just wild mint, that's it. You are drinking mint. Okay, I am actually very good with that. And these four are in a box together because it was a prepackaged like gift box set. But I figured if I'm gonna get all four anyway, and it's cheaper to do it this way, hell yeah, I'm gonna get the box set. So it was for four of the seasonal ones. There was one bigger that had six, but it was sold out. Or I'd have gotten that one. But I got all the flavors anyway, because I bought the other ones individually that would have been in that. So anyway, we have Christmas Eve, Christmas Morning, Holiday Chai, and Christmas in Paris. So I'm going to go ahead and open this so I can get the boxes out. Because there's kind of no sense to keep it in the box they came in here when it's just for me. I'm not gifting this to anybody. I'm gifting it to myself. So... So Christmas Eve, it's got these cute ornaments on it. I really love them. Just, their packaging is so on point for all of them, really. A merry blend of spearmint and sweet holiday spices. Just like curling up by the fire on a snowy Christmas Eve, this peaceful blend warms you from deep within. Each soothing sip will wrap you up in the spicy sweet flavors of cinnamon, orange peel, and spearmint. The ingredients are cinnamon, spearmint, orange peel, vanilla extract, orange oil, natural cinnamon flavor, and clove bud oil. I'm gonna like it, I can tell you already. Then again, I don't think there's a thing here other than maybe the chocolate one where I don't think I'd be into it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna adore all of these. Okay, Christmas morning. Come here, my darling. Because we have Christmas Eve and we have Christmas morning. So this is what it looks like. It's very, very cute. A joyful breakfast blend infused with an aromatic touch of jasmine. Ooh. Oh, that also has it in French on the other side. On all of them. Wake up to the excitement of Christmas morning with this bright and merry blend. Distinct notes of bold and brisk black teas combined with a, uh, with a touch of jasmine green tea create a balanced, complex cup full of holiday joy. The ingredients are blended black teas and jasmine green tea. So lots of caffeine. Okay. Not complaining. Then we've got... Holiday Chai with this cute little gingerbread man on it. And he's holding clothes as drumsticks! Look, oh my god, he's so cute! Okay, a festive chai made with warm gingerbread and sweet rum flavors. Oh, hello. I didn't even know that. I literally just threw these in the cart because they looked good. And yeah, I didn't really read that close. I kind of just tossed in the cart and impulse bought. 
Made with premium black tea and warm spices, you'll love the classic holiday flavors of gingerbread and sweet rum in this festive take on traditional chai. Add a splash of milk and sugar for a creamy treat. The ingredients are blended black teas, cinnamon, allspice, clove, ginger root, natural gingerbread flavor, natural Jamaican rum flavor, and nutmeg oil. Well, hopefully their natural Jamaican rum flavor doesn't contain coconut, or I may be up a creek without a paddle, but I don't think the rum itself has it. I don't think. I know rum chata does, but I don't think just regular Jamaican rum does. Let me look into that. I, I will be right back. So, Google's results were inconclusive on that. Um, apparently, Jamaican rum in and of itself just on its own. No, but flavored Jamaican rum, yes. So depending on how specific this is, hopefully it's just the plain kind that doesn't have it in it, and this will not be a problem. Oh my god, what is this now? I swear if this is my dad messing with me again, he's gullibly. Let's find out. Oh my god, stop. Yep. Has to hijack every video, I swear. Now this won't go off. Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, inconclusive, but I'm hopeful that I can drink this without a problem. I imagine it'll be perfectly fine, but you never know. So then, the last one in the set of four over here is the Christmas in Paris, which is similar to the Breakfast in Paris. It says luxurious chocolatey flavor paired with lavender and cool mint. So the chocolate part may be iffy, but overall it sounds like it should be good, so I'm hopeful. So. One sip of this aromatic blend will have you wandering through the snow-covered cobblestone alleys of Paris. Get lost in the rich chocolatey flavor, swirled with cool mint and a touch of lavender. Ingredients are cocoa shells, which contains trace amounts of caffeine, peppermint, lavender, natural chocolate flavor, and vanilla extract. Okay, right. sounds good to me. <laughs> I have a pretty tall uh, tower of them here. I'm like, to be able to reach what's left in the box, I'm like, I have to knock down part of the tower. Oh boy. Okay. And then we have the decaf vanilla chai, a delicious blend of decaffeinated black teas, creamy vanilla, and aromatic spices. And then our decaf vanilla chai is a luxurious blend of traditional chai spices and delectable creamy vanilla with all of the rich flavors and none of the guilt. Feel free to indulge as often as you want, or as often as you like. Sorry, I can read. Ingredients, decaffeinated black teas, cinnamon, ginger root, allspice, natural vanilla flavor, and clove. Vanilla chai is always good, so again, not gonna complain. Ugh, this one, this was like the biggest impulse one out of the bunch. The fruit itself, I adore, but as a tea, I am not so sure about it, but at the same time, I was so damn curious, I couldn't not buy it. So, this is Sweet Honey too. <laughs> this may be totally awesome, or it may be totally disgusting. I'm not sure which direction it'll go, but I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. It's a green tea, and a perfectly balanced blend of Japanese-style green tea and refreshing honeydew flavor. Now, Kimberly insists that as an iced tea, this should be great. But that is a hot tea, it'll probably be gross, but we all know me, and I'll try and do it as a hot tea, so. The subtle flavor Japanese-style green tea is a perfect complement for the sweetness of ripe honeydew melon. Enjoy this refreshing blend, hot or over ice, for a cooling summer treat. Ingredients are green tea, natural melon flavor, and natural guava flavor. Oh, well that's an interesting addition there. Guava in it, too. Didn't even know that was in there, but that sounds good. Okay, there's a few more in the box and the far end, so I'm having a hard time reaching now. Okay, we have Jasmine Blossom, which should be pretty good. I think, I think I've had other Jasmine teas and they've been alright. Green tea 
delicately scented with floral jasmine blossoms. The fresh floral aroma of this captivating tea will transport you to a fragrant, pristine garden filled with fresh jasmine. A favorite in China for over 800 years, this fragrant, slightly sweet tea is highly celebrated for its delicate flavor, and the ingredients are literally just jasmine green tea. Nothing else. So now I'm like, wait, does jasmine grow on green tea plants? And I never knew this? Like, legit? Like, is this a thing? I, I think I need to Google this, too. All I know is I'm super intrigued. So, there's that. There's three more in the box. I, I have not even counted how many of this is. I don't want to count. I don't want to know how many it is. All I know is that they're going to be good, so I'm not worrying about numbers. Because, <laughs> honestly, I didn't pay that much for them. Like I said, I paid about 50 bucks. So, uh, I have... Ginger Peach, which is in a green tea and matcha blend. So, okay, respectable. Peachy green tea blended with spicy ginger and a touch of Japanese matcha. So similar to the white peach one, right? I think. Not too sweet, not too spicy. This tea is just right. Enticingly lush peach flavor is perfectly contrasted with a sharp, tingly bite of ginger and a subtle kick of Japanese matcha. You'll save for every sip if of this craveable green tea. The ingredients are green tea, ginger root, natural peach flavor, and matcha. That sounds like really good right now. <laughs> All of them sound really good right now, though. That's why I bought them. Okay. This one's just chocolate mint, and again, because the chocolate, I'm like, it could go either way, but in case Stash is good at doing chocolate, I, I don't feel bad about getting so many that have chocolate in it. And this one's an oolong tea. I'm not sure if I've really had oolong tea before this, so... Same with rooibos. Um, but anyway, an irresistible blend of wooly oolong, peppermint, and rich chocolate. Our chocolate mint oolong is a delectable cup of guiltless dessert perfect for taming a wild sweet tooth. Made with oolong from the Wuyi Mountains of China, the unbeatable pairing of chocolate and refreshing peppermint makes for a sensational delight. The ingredients are Wuyi oolong tea, peppermint, natural chocolate flavor, cocoa powder, and carob powder. So it's like triple chocolate in there, plus the peppermint and the tea. Okay, let me see. There's my dad again. Oh, it's not. Okay. Alright, well, I'm just gonna deal with that later. So, we've got, I think, one left in there. That's why I'm like, whatever it is, can freaking wait. <laughs> yeah, we got one to go. And it is maple apple cider, so another really good seasonal one. It's caffeine-free. It's an herbal tea. Enjoy autumn in a cup with the flavors of fresh apple, maple, cinnamon, and caramel. Ooh, all of that together sounds amazing. So, save for the classic flavors of autumn with a, with a cozy cup of the seasonal favorite. Wrapped up in the warmth of cinnamon, this blend balances the sweetness of maple and caramel with tart apple. The ingredients are rebos, hibiscus, nut, natural flavors of maple, apple and caramel with other natural flavors, cinnamon, and citric acid. That's different. I don't think I saw citric acid listed on the other ones, but that's okay. I'm sure there's a reason it's there, probably for the apple, but that sounds really intriguing. And yeah, that definitely sounds like fall in a cup. Between this and the pumpkin spice one, they had like those two right there are just like straight up fall in a cup. Oh, we know. I'm curious. I want to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I am regretting counting, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28! I bought 28 boxes of tea, guys, for $50. Well, I think the grand total with tax is like... 52 or 53, but like, legit, I, I bought 28 boxes of tea, guys. What is my life? What is my freaking life? <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, that's it for this one. So as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Um, out of these, which one do you think sounds the best? Which one do you think sounds the iffiest? Let me know down below, as well as anything about anything. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below, as well as my subreddit. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you like to support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Grab yourself some donator perks and get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating. And as always, in case you guys need to hear it and you haven't yet today, I'm proud of you. I love you. You're doing a great job. See you next time. Bye-bye.